Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio from Digital Bike Computing. Today, you asked the question, does my Mac need an antivirus? We're gonna talk about that today. Before we do that, please remember to subscribe, clicking on that notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Does my Mac need an antivirus? You may have a Mac. Uh, you may have heard, if you're into Windows, you may have heard, well, if you get a Mac, then you don't get viruses. I've heard people say that. You've probably heard people say that. The answer is, in short, yes. There you go, end of the video. Actually, no, it's not. Let's talk about that a little bit. If you go back in time, 10, 15, 20 years, it was all about Windows. Windows was the leader. Windows was in every single person's home and every single company and Mac was very, very tiny. It was not even making a dent on Windows. So what was happening at that point? All the bad people were writing viruses, malware, malicious code, all this sort of stuff for Windows. Windows was the big one, right? So everybody who is bad was trying to write, uh, find vulnerabilities, and get into Windows computers because that's where all the money was. That's where they could get in, steal data, uh, wreck systems, do whatever they need to do, whatever these bad people choose to do. So things have changed. Years later, the iPhone gets released. Everyone's like, whoa, this is the coolest thing ever. What is this iPhone? Hey, Apple make this iPhone. Hey, Apple make a computer called a Mac. Why don't I check it out? That's sort of how it sort of grew significantly. Apple was, uh, you know, there was this group of cult-like fanboys and fangirls or fan people, right? And uh, I was one of them, to tell you the truth. I was a Mac fanboy way back before Macs were cool. I like Windows at the same time. I know, I know people don't like to hear that I like Windows and Mac at the same time, but I thought you had to be one or the other. You can like them both. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, the people people love to fight, right? People who love Windows, they hate Mac. People who like Mac think the Windows crew don't know what they're talking about. But years later, uh, the Mac has now made a dent. The Apple computers are significantly more um, in people's homes. A lot more companies are starting to use Apple than they used to. So even though they haven't overtaken Windows, um, they are much bigger than they were. So all the bad people are now starting to take notice. People are now going, wow, there's certain companies, certain big companies. Wow, there's a lot of individuals uh, at home who are now running Mac. Hey, there's not that many viruses for a Mac. Why don't I go and write a virus for a Mac? Granted, it's not as common. Okay, and it's a bit more challenging to get into a Mac operating system and, and infiltrate that than on Windows, but it is um, growing significantly enough where people are now writing a lot more code, a lot more viruses, malicious software for the Mac. So of course, um, if you've got a Windows virus, that Windows virus has been designed to attack a Windows computer. So that virus, will not actually work, shouldn't work on a Mac computer because it's a different operating system. You got Windows 10, for example, and then you got Mac OS Big Sur, for example. You've got these two different operating systems, the backend systems, the file systems, how they're written, completely different. So the viruses that are written for one generally will not work on the other. So in the olden days, not as much, it wasn't as required. You could probably get away with not having an antivirus but people are now writing viruses specifically for the Mac. If you're browsing, for example, if you're getting emails sent to you that have malicious code, they're generally gonna be targeting Windows. Still, it's changing. And I would predict that in the next 10 to 15 years, that's gonna change significantly. Apple is like, they're growing like this. The Mac, I mean, they're the richest one of the richest companies in the world. I think the richest in America. So they're not going away. They're gonna to continue to grow, which means the Mac is gonna to continue to grow, which means all the bad people are gonna to continue to take notice and start writing more code, more viruses for the Mac. Get yourself antivirus for the Mac. You can get free antivirus software. You can buy antivirus software. 
buying it will be better. You'll get better stuff from it, better support, better protection. But yes, get yourself antivirus because Macs can get viruses the same as Windows. That's it. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're a Mac or a Windows person, whether you've gotten viruses on a Mac. That's a good discussion point as well. Let me know below and uh, like this video as well. Subscribe to my channel, clicking on that subscription button and on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you taking the time. We'll see you next time.